Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy, old Jake Connor, Jake the Snake, today. We got and, Peggy uh, with us this morning. Peggy is a little bit uh, rambunctious today, and so she may be jumping into the uh, video like that. Hey, share this on your platforms. We've got a couple of things we're going to be mentioning today that we want you to make sure the work gets out. And um, so share that on all your platforms, Facebook, uh, YouTube, your space, my space, Twitterverse, all stuff, Twitterverse, that kind of stuff. So Snap, Doodle, yeah, Chat and Monkey. I really appreciate Jake preaching last week. Great hey, message, yeah, man. man. Phenomenal message. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Phenomenal. That. Uh, my favorite part was the end. It may it, it, it amazes me that we don't miss a beat when you're gone. Like I didn't even know you were gone. It was so good last week. Phenomenal. Very convicting message. Too. I am grateful for him. And uh, something I know you are too. And, you know, speaking of that, that we've got people in our church that do stuff every week, Jake. And you and I were talking yesterday about Jenny yep. uh, Holdeman, who does so much. She's always down at that desk answering phones and taking care of yep. stuff. And you're, you're going to be talking about something Sunday that she's involved in. And I'm, I can't wait for that. And we're not going to tell you what. Uh, you got to come Sunday. You got to watch Sunday. You got to figure this out. Uh, we have a lot of people behind the scenes that you guys don't see. It's incredible. It's it is. It's incredible that do a lot of stuff. So, so let let me mention one thing, and uh, then I think you're you're going to kind of help me with this next Sunday, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. So that's not next Sunday. It's the Sunday before Thanksgiving. You're confusing the them. You said next Sunday, but then you said not. This Sunday, the next Sunday, because this Sunday, but, but the next here. Sunday is the one coming okay, so up. So November the twenty second, we're going to be uh, passing out our budget for two thousand twenty one, and I know some of you uh, have already asked questions about that and have come to us about that. But you'll have the opportunity to pick those up, or you can download it online. And then on December the sixth, we're going to give you two weeks this year because of the COVID right. and distancing, two and weeks. some of you guys. Um, are still at home and joining us on at home. Uh, we're going to ask you to look over that, pray over that. If you have questions, you can email or call our elders, or our elders will be available at the Information Guest Services desk each week where you can ask them questions on Sunday. And then on December the 6th, we're going to vote on our budget for 2021. Now, here's why this is important is for many of you guys, I know you're still at home. And so we want to offer you a virtual way to vote where you can vote online and be sent to us. It's no mail-in ballots. No mail-in ballots. Uh, we're, we are going to ask that you sign up for our text in church. I could not get that out. Uh, that you get, uh, we have your uh, information, your email. You can sign up for text in church. It'll be in the uh, post here on this um, video today. If we don't have that, then it's going to be hard for us to get that to you. You can request that through our texting. You can request that through email. We'll send you a link to the ballot. It will require your name and a valid email to be online, so we'll know who... Must be alive uh, to vote. Yeah, this is sounding very familiar. Uh, and we'll get culture. those counted quicker than Nevada, we yeah, promise. Truth, truth on that. So anyway, uh, just a whole co a cool thing about you guys that are still at home and not feeling safe to come to our building we want to honor you and have a way for you to do that and for you guys that may be out of town that's an easy way for you to vote and be a part of our budgeting hey process. speaking of budget we've got a streak on the line we do yeah a streak yeah two thousand since 2004 we're on 2020 so 16 years on our 17th year we've never missed budget as a church well, I tell you what, dude. We got is, two months to uh, keep the streak alive. That's so stinking cool, too. Yeah. Uh, just to see where so many churches are and what's going on. Uh, you guys have been faithful. And, and I, and, and I, in all seriousness, we talked about celebrating what the Lord has done last week. And I just want to celebrate you, Summit, for real. I'm not. This is not the jokester, Jake, because I do. I meet with a group of pastors every Wednesday morning, and some of the men in my circle. They're struggling. They're struggling financially. They're struggling through COVID. They're not. And it's a testimony, obviously, to God, but it's a testimony to you being faithful in giving and being faithful in serving volunteer 
So thank you. Yeah, no doubt. I, I'm so grateful. I traveled last weekend, Jake. I was up in Arkansas. You were gone last Sunday? I know. Didn't notice, I, man. I message was so me. good. <laughs> I know. Uh, but, you know, driving home, remember I told you, yeah. all the way home, I could not wait to get back home to you guys. Summit is home, and we love you guys. And I'm grateful that we've gotten to be a part of this for 16 years, dude. 16 years that we've been yeah. around and making an impact in this community. I was much younger then. Year. Uh, we both were. We both yeah. didn't and have thinner. all this gray uh, in there. I wasn't. I think I was yeah. probably. Was I thinner then? No. You think? No? no. Uh, okay. So, hey, we love you. You got anything else? No. Hey, share this on all your platforms. Can't wait to see you Sunday, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. And we are excited. Hey, love all the new people that's been coming, too. So, yeah, we've had uh, some come new out. folks. Uh, you may see some people you've never met before. We love you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday.